this is Wade here again. Just wanted to share with you some of the readings that I've been doing and thought there might be some value to sharing what I've learned and uh, just kind of gives you some insight on some things maybe you haven't thought about and that can help move you forward. One of them is a book called um, For the Four Tendencies. It is by Gretchen Rubin. And she has done research and found that there's four underlying tendencies that we fall into or categories. And it's uncanny how four simple areas are able to encompass a majority, if not all, of the population. There's some variations, but the underlying theme within each individual falls into these each of these categories and why do you why is this of value well it helps you one understand other people and empathize and be able to step up a step back and see life through their eyes and it also gives you an awareness of why you are the way you are and having an awareness is the most important thing that you can do to make any kind of change in your life. So these different categories are, there's an obliger, an upholder, a risk taker, and a questioner. There's a test that the book has that can, that can ask you some questions and help you qualify yourself. And a lot of great value to, to that book and I really look forward to learning more about it and being able to share that with the people closest to me. And that would include anyone that wants to, to hear what I have to say on occasion. The other book is Mike Dooley's new book. And that book is called Playing the Matrix. And he has come up with a basically a graph or it's almost a game your life is a game and it emphasizes a left side and a right side of of how the position you're at and how your mindset works and if you're coming from the left side the biggest emphasis that he has conveyed is that if you come from uh, a, a, a happy point and there's an, a ha happiness is a big starting point if you're trying to pull in things from the right side where you're too specific you can manifest things but it's not as effective because you're not really coming to what you core your core values and what it is that you you really want out of life. So there's there's a lot of a lot of very interesting angles that that he presents within that book of his. And uh, I guess for now that's that's all I'll share. I can elaborate a little bit more about that uh, playing the matrix book too. I would look forward to doing that maybe as soon as tomorrow. So have a great evening.